Live from San Francisco, it's The Cube. Covering Red Hat Summit 2018. Brought to you by Red Hat. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is theCUBE's exclusive live coverage here in San Francisco at Red Hat Summit 2018. I'm John Furrier, my co-host John Troyer. Our next guest is Arkady Kanevsky, PhD Director, Software Development at Dell EMC, Service Provider Business Unit. Thanks for joining us, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me here. So we were just talking before we came on, obviously great, we're in the middle of the open here in, 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 the, uh, in the hall in Moscone West. Um, but you guys have a definition of service provider. It's very broad, obviously Dell EMC, you guys, Dell has tons of uh, equipment that they sell, providing a lot of the, the equipment. What is that, just take a quick second to describe who you guys are targeting and your role here at Red Hat Summit. Sure, so uh, we are a small portion within the Dell EMC portfolio uh, and the organization I'm in, specifically uh, creating a targeting solution for service providers. Uh, the service provider, uh, you know, the probably best known of service providers are te telecommunication service providers, AT&T, Verizon, Telstra, you know, all over the world. Uh, very highly regulated areas and have been around forever and they are going through the major transformation right now uh, from the 4G to 5G, network age and so on. Uh, but we are uh, also covering a much larger set of the providers. Uh, if you can think of the hosted, uh, hosted uh, service provider, managed service providers, those are the people who either have as a, as a core of their uh, business providing the services for their customers. Uh, if you can think of the eBay or Amazon or uh, Google, they have the services which are the running public cloud or not a public cloud for general sense, but a specific uh, 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 purpose which they're delivering. Uh, Salesforce. I mean, everyone's a they, service provider. If they're using cloud, they're some sort of service provider, right? If, if, they, if they're delivering their value through the service, then they're the service providers. If you are, uh, you know, you have, you know, the the businesses which are still doing the business the way they were doing before, banks are not really service providers. They're not, I mean, yeah. yes, they communicate with their customers through the portals, but that's not yeah. the, the purpose how they're doing business. It's, it's great now in 2018, we, we're getting some clarity on, on cloud, right? Uh, we, we thought maybe it was all public, now we, we see that actually there's a lot of use cases for smaller public clouds, hybrid clouds, private clouds, depending on people's needs. I'm curious how the service provider world, specifically like the MSPs and the, and the, the telcos of the world, are looking at how, what kinds of clouds they're going to provide and also, maybe also how they partner with the, with the bigger clouds. So there is a different uh, angle there. So uh, people, uh, a lot uh, of the work being done in a public cloud initially when they try to do the development of their new application because it's the easiest way for them to do it. Uh, but once you hit uh, the next layer when you need to deliver it as a service, in especially in more regulated environment where you have certain strict security requirement, uh, you want to protect uh, access to the data. A lot of the time, they kind of do the hybrid, go on the hybrid model because it's much more. Uh, it's they have better control of what they're doing. I mean, some of the announcement and some of the demos which were done today in keynote uh, today and the two days ago were clearly demonstrating this kind of approach. So we are partnering with Red Hat of developing the optimized platforms for uh, the development and operation uh, of uh, those uh, applications. All the way from uh, RHEL and Linux layer all the way up to OpenShift and beyond? All the way. Uh, we announced on Monday uh, that we have the, our seventh joint, uh, joint version of Red Hat Open, uh, Red Hat OpenStack uh, already bundled. Uh, this is uh, the uh, the first one where we uh, start providing the workload optimized uh, hooks such that customer can choose to optimize from the hardware to the operating system to the open stack for their specific workload. And uh, uh, we have a profile, predefined profile for NFV, 
and we have a predefined profile for a web-based application. And of course, it's open source and uh, uh, extendable, flexible, uh, and provide what customer are expecting for their own use cases. How about the relationship between Dell, now Dell EMC, now Dell Technologies, a variety of other things. Um, the relationship with Red Hat, how long, how many years, how deep, how would you describe the, the relationship time-wise and just duration and, and depth? Very happy to. So uh, we started our relationship 18 years ago. In 2001 was the first uh, release of the uh, laptops and the servers with a pre-installed uh, uh, pre rel on that on the factory. Uh, and uh, uh, Dell, uh, at that time Dell, uh, was uh, OEMing that solution for the customers. Over the years since that, we started developing more and more solutions for a different customer domain. We have HPC-based solution, again, RHEL-based. Uh, we have SAP, we have Oracle, and variety of different Hadoop open, uh, Hadoop, uh, variation of the Hadoop, again, on the base uh, RHEL platforms. And uh, most recently, the OpenStack over the last five years, and uh, at the Dell, uh, Dell Technology World last week, we announced uh, uh, of the OpenShift on bare metal as a joint solution between the two companies. Uh, we have the OpenShift on OpenStack, which we announced two years ago, still supportable and uh, delivered to our customers. So the goal for us is to provide the flexibility and choices for the customers. What's the unique value for customers that you guys bring to the table? What's the unique value with the Red Hat relationship that they, that's the most important? So the most important is robustness of the integrated solutions and the two companies together standing behind them. So they can go either to Red Hat or to the LAMC and we're together delivering the solution. It is robust, yeah. it is still open and flexible, but it is also optimized all the way from hardware to the top, of the top layer of the software for their use cases. So customers are concerned, obviously we saw a Spectra bug and all this stuff going on security. Red Hat customers, they're not microcoders. I mean, they have to upgrade. You guys have to take that responsibility at the hardware level. And it's a great certification, we know that. Going forward, as the stacks become robust from you know, down to the chip level, up through applications, we well, got DevOps, you got all these cool things happening. How are you guys um, keeping up with the pace to mitigate security risks and continuing the partnership. What's the story of the customers? What should they know about that particular piece? So obviously, we are taking care of security on multiple layers, from the microcode, as you pointed out, in the solution, partnering not only with Red Hat, but with Intel and the uh, uh, hardware vendors to ensure that uh, all of the mitigated uh, mitigation factors are put into place for security. But most importantly, we are providing the tooling to make uh, the patching and fixes in automated way without any disruption to the workloads which customers are running, or minimizing the disruption for the workload. So you can do uh, all of your securities uh, updates, and for that matter, upgrades of the solution in such a way that you're minimizing the disruption for your customers. Okay, so, so security, obviously hugely important. One of the themes of this event has been talking to the IT audience about kind of up-leveling, uh, you can call it digital transformation, but actually bringing more business value. So, uh, and, and that's been really well received here uh, as, as you realize this, you know, the time, the, all the demos, faster time to market, more business value, uh, faster time to value. So as you talk with the customers here and service providers, what are they asking you as, as a director of the software stack that has to, that, that, that it, you know, in, you could look at as just the bottom of the stack, but in fact uh, is hugely important to what they're doing. So what are you having to provide from the Dell side for the, to help that acceleration? So the most important thing that our customer are looking for uh, is partnership. They're looking for us uh, working with Intel, with Red Hat, and with uh, partners specific to their uh, area uh, to do together integration 
and so we can provide the support and life cycle of the solutions. You're, so you're kind of where the rubber hits the road. They buy the, they buy the unit and the system and the software from you, it better all be integrated and work. Correct. Uh, so again, the, they, they go on with us with Red Hat because they want to have a flexibility so they can add more things. But what they're looking for, especially telco providers, they would like us to partner all the way down to the next level up is NFV vendors. The people who are providing them virtualized functions so they can bring that to the solution and have level of confidence and uh, you know, ease, uh, you know, peace of mind that all of those pieces have been integrated together, validated together, and we have a continuous program where we take care of them of the full upgrade and life cycle of not individual pieces, but the whole thing. What should customers know about um, your relationship with Red Hat? Um, I want to get to end this segment with really important, because I think this is important. We're seeing more and more security go from chip to the OS to the application layer. There's going to be more and more of that. And you've got to evolve your relationship and, and technology. Yes. Uh, what, what, what should they know about Dell, yeah. Dell Technologies, Dell EMC, Dell proper? And uh, that's most important for them to understand what you guys do for customers. So, one of the most important things to understand, now we're Dell Technology. We have been Dell Technology for about a year, uh, and a lot of the integration pieces start uh, being mature, and now we can uh, have a joint integrated solution. One of the big pieces of the Dell Technology portfolio is RSA. They are probably the oldest and the most established security uh, uh, company in the world. And we are uh, getting more and more integration of their tool sets into various solutions across the board. Uh, and that probably is the unique value which we as a Dell Technology can provide because we have individual pieces which are leaders in their specific field and we can put all of those pieces together to have a, a, the value to the customers through one place. That's exciting. Well, thanks for coming on and sharing the insight. We love uh, Michael Dell, been a big fan of Michael. He's been on theCUBE many times. He listens, he's probably watching right now. Hey, Michael, how are you? Sorry I missed Dell EMC World or Dell World, but John, I was there with Stu. Um, great to have you on, We've seen the continued success, and a lot of skeptics on that merger, or the mergers, or the whole thing, and uh, Pivotal just went public. Uh, went things public, are happening. Definitely, yeah. exciting time to live in. Yeah, thanks for coming on. More live coverage here in San Francisco at Red Hat Summit 2018. I'm John Furrier, John Troyer. Stay with us for more coverage after this short break. <laughs>